if you're not aware, the insurance is not going to remind you that they owe you money for the diminished value of your property. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the airing of grievances. My name is Eric Raymer and as you can see Rob is not here this week. He is otherwise occupied. However, uh, I've got a, a timely and I think important message for you. So stick around. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Uh, if you're new here, this is your consumer focused behind the scenes look into the collision industry. Uh, here at Nylands Collision Center in Englewood, Colorado, we take very seriously the, the need to repair your vehicle per the OEM, the Original Equipment Manufacturer's specifications, using their procedures and using uh, OEM parts. And so uh, we've got now 197 different videos for you in our playlist here on YouTube. You can check that out. It's called the Airing of Grievances Playlist and we encourage you to take a peek at all the different things that we talk about that will in fact help you both save money and uh, be educated along the process but also possibly save lives uh, as it relates to the quality of your repair about this time we like to uh, talk typically uh, clink glasses and say happy saturday i wish you a happy saturday right here and now and uh thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for ours if you haven't done it yet go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh while you're at it ring the notification bell and click the thumbs up if you find anything at all of value we genuinely appreciate you helping youtube know that this content is good for anybody here on uh on youtube all right uh, let's take a look at Repairer Driven News. Uh, this week in uh, Repairer Driven News, an article was written by uh, Laura Lowry that says, uh, State Farm settles Washington diminished value class action for $2 million. Here at uh, the airing of grievances, we don't make the news, we report it. And this is obviously from Repairer Driven News. I will put a link to the full article uh, down below. But uh, there's a phrase in that headline that I really want to zoom in on, and it is called diminished value. We've done a number of different videos over the years talking about diminished value, but it seems because it's timely and in the news today, something that we should probably revisit and check out again. Uh, here's the, 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 the beginning part of this article. It says, State Farm has agreed to pay nearly $1.5 million to a class action of Washington State policyholders who allegedly weren't paid for the diminished value of their vehicles following at least $1,000 in damage. A class action lawsuit was filed back in 2018 uh, by a certain person who was rear-ended in a hit-and-run collision in 2017. And I think the first thing that I want you to take away is uh, filing a diminished value claim is never a quick way to regain the money that you have lost because of a loss in uh, you, you've been damaged by somebody else. We're going to get to that in a minute, but uh, the accident took place in 2017. The lawsuit was filed in 2018. I'm reporting this uh, in October of 2024. So you can see that these things don't move very quickly. Um, and in particular, class action cases rarely move quickly at all. In addition to what State Farm is going to pay the entire class in that settlement, uh, it's also going to pay the attorney fees of $627,360 uh, for costs, uh, $13,000 for those costs, and $10,000 service award to the uh, person who filed the suit according to the final settlement agreement. The class at the time the lawsuit was filed included 830 State Farm policyholders in the state of Washington who filed an underinsured motorist claim for vehicle damages, and there were a couple of criteria that had to 
the uh, the repair estimates on the vehicle had to total at least a thousand dollars the vehicle was no more than six years old had less than 90,000 miles on it and it suffered structural frame damage and or deformed sheet metal uh, and or required body work or paint um, so that's what happened in the case in Washington and again I will uh, turn you over to the I the uh, article on repair driven news I think that's an important thing let's talk about what we know here at least as it relates to diminished value here in Colorado in in Colorado you need to be able to prove your loss and what that means is uh, you're probably going to need an independent appraiser uh, number two you need to submit your proof to the insurer uh, that appraisal comes with along with a demand letter for diminished value and then number three there will be some form of a claim settlement and that typically has one of three different outcomes the first one is the insurer may decide you're right we owe it and they pay in full the second outcome could be that they make a lower offer to you and it's up to you whether or not you wish to dis to, to accept that offer and then number three the insurer may just outright deny the claim and uh, that is common when they say we're just not going to pay it and that's when the legal action starts I want to talk a little bit about diminished value and in order to do so and to try to do so intelligently I want to uh, start with and perhaps end with a, uh, a discussion of our friends over at auto damage experts that's auto damage experts.com we have uh, a long-standing relationship with these folks they are independent appraisers who are skilled at finding and uh, locating the the diminished value of your vehicle and can uh, assist you if ever you find yourself in the need they have on their website and I will put a link to it in the description box below a, um, a statement uh, uh, an article if you will about what exactly is diminished value and while I'm not going to read the entire uh, article I think there are a couple of things that um, might be of interest to you as per the state of Oregon's division of insurance diminished value is defined as after an accident and after repairs have been made if a vehicle is worth less than it was before the accident its value has been diminished that difference in market value is called a diminution of value and then it goes on to say later if your damages are being paid by the at-fault drivers insurance you may be owed compensation for the diminution of value you must prove that the value of your vehicle is diminished as a result of the accident and evidence might consist of photos blue book estimates appraisals and a receipt for the fair fair market value sale of the vehicle etc um, one of the things that I think it's really important to underscore here is uh, if you back your car into a tree you're not likely to get diminished value however if somebody else causes damage to your vehicle that's the kind of situation where you may be able to make a diminished value claim it is different in every state and so you need to look up the regulations in your own state um, as it relates to the state of Washington a fact sheet prepared by Washington State Insurance Commissioner diminished value is defined as the difference in dollar amount of what your car would have sold for without damage and the amount it will likely sell for with the repaired damage and again I encourage you as does this article to check your local state laws as it relates or surrounds diminished value now auto damage experts tells us that there are three basic types of diminished value and we're going to just kind of cover those three and I'll let you be on your way here's the deal inherent diminished value in motor vehicles is based upon a widespread belief that uh, says once damaged it will never be the same again and that kind of inherent diminished value is based upon public awareness that even if a, a damaged vehicle is repaired to the best of human ability 
it's still going to exhibit remaining deficiencies and inconsistencies from the pre-loss condition of the vehicle. Those deficiencies include, but are not limited to, weaker structural components that appear cosmetically sound. It might look pretty, but if, it, if the structural integrity of the vehicle has been uh, compromised, it may never perform the same way that it always had. Uh, another one is impossible to duplicate factory seams, sealers, and finishes. Telltale signs of a repair, such as paint missing off the heads of bolts, etc. The unavailability of factory decals and markings, and several others. I'm not going to belabor the point, but you get the idea. If somebody is skilled at looking for damage and those issues have not been addressed or the paint uh, was was done nice on a quarter panel but the screws and rivets show signs of burn or uh, perhaps you know the, the screw heads don't have bolt heads don't have paint uh, those are telltale signs that uh, there is an inherent diminished value the second type of diminished value according to auto damage experts is insurance related diminished value that's based upon and resulted from remaining flaws, defects, damage, which through their involvement, the insurer has failed or neglected to fully and or properly address. There are several examples of insurance related to diminished value causing issues, and here are some of them. The call for and employment of inferior replacement parts, mismatched paint finishes, whereas no consideration for paint matching activities were provided for, remaining repair related residue that is like something like dirt in the paint that either wasn't or couldn't be buffed out the lack of replacement decals again you're starting to see a theme if your uh, your, your car came with original equipment uh, manufacturers factory glass and they replace it with a different glass that's an indication that that windshield has been replaced uh, same thing goes along with hoods and uh, basically all the parts of your vehicle. So if you're, if you're missing the original equipment manufacturer's stickers or decals, that's a big red flag to anybody who may want to purchase the vehicle. Or if you decide to trade it in, um, dealerships know what to look for. Um, overlooked or disregarded kinetic damage throughout the vehicle. Overlooked or disregarded mechanical damages overlooked or disregarded safety issues uh, for instance having to do with the SRS uh, systems no allowance for factory sealers or sound deadening or rust proofing gosh you could just take a quick stroll through our playlist and see a number of those kinds of issues that have taken place over the years that we've caught after doing a post repair inspection and then there is the repair this is the third type of diminished value Repair related diminished value is based primarily upon remaining flaws and defects resulting from improper and insufficient repairs for which the repairer had agreed to and provided consideration to complete in a workmanlike manner. Poorly performed repairs would cause the vehicle to be valued less than it had been if it were properly and thoroughly repaired. Those things include many of the same features. Uh, poor structural and or cosmetic welds frame structural repair listed on the insurance estimate but not completed properly and or thoroughly we talk so much about this we see it in the in the marketplace day in and day out and that's why nylons is as we are committed to repairing your vehicle properly with original equipment manufacturers parts following the original equipment manufacturers procedures if your body shop that you get to choose is not willing to do those things it might be time to consider a different body shop and then uh, yeah that's pretty much what we have for you today it, diminished value is something that you are entitled to if you have been damaged by somebody else and the insurer does not account for that, you get to make that claim. And uh, again, check your policy. That's the first and foremost thing because every policy is, is different. 
check your State Department of Insurance, see what they have to say about it. But I think that uh, it's, it's one of those phrases that if you're not aware, the insurance is not going to remind you that they owe you money for the diminished value of your property. So that's pretty much what I have for you today. I hope that it is helpful for you. I hope that uh, if you have any comments, drop them in the comment box below. If you uh, are watching this on a Saturday morning and uh, hanging out chatting with Rob and I, thank you so very much. We're grateful for you. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to join us for ours. We'll be back next Saturday. Hopefully Rob will be right here next Saturday and we'll chat with you then.